In geometry, a Kissing number is defined as the number of non-overlapping unit spheres that can be arranged such that they each touch another given unit sphere. For a lattice packing the Kissing number is the same for every sphere, but for an arbitrary sphere packing the Kissing number may vary from one sphere to another. Other names for Kissing number that have been used are Newton number and contact number. In general, the Kissing number problem seeks the maximum possible Kissing number for n-dimensional spheres in dimensional Euclidean space. Ordinary spheres correspond to two-dimensional closed surfaces in three-dimensional space. Finding the Kissing number when centers of spheres are confined to a line or a plane is trivial. Proving a solution to the three-dimensional case, despite being easy to conceptualize and model in the physical world, eluded mathematicians until the mid-20th century. Solutions in higher dimensions are considerably more challenging, and only a handful of cases have been solved exactly. For others, investigations have determined upper and lower bounds, but not exact solutions. Known greatest kissing numbers. In one dimension, the kissing number is 2. In two dimensions, the kissing number is 6. Proof. Consider a circle with center C that is touched by circles with center C1, C2. Consider the rays CCI. These rays all emanate from the same center C, so the sum of angles between adjacent rays is 360 degrees. Assume by contradiction that there are more than six touching circles. Then at least two adjacent rays, say CC1 and CC2, are separated by an angle of less than 60 degrees. The segments CCI have the same length 2R for all I. Therefore the triangle CC1C2 is isosceles, and its third side, C1C2 has a side length of less than 2R. Therefore the circles 1 and 2 intersect, a contradiction. In three dimensions, the kissing number is 12, but the correct value was much more difficult to establish than in dimensions 1 and 2. It is easy to arrange 12 spheres so that each touches a central sphere, but there is a lot of space left over, and it is not obvious that there is no way to pack in a 13th sphere. This was the subject of a famous disagreement between mathematicians Isaac Newton and David Gregory. Newton correctly thought that the limit was 12, Gregory thought that a 13th could fit. Some incomplete proofs that Newton was correct were offered in the 19th century, most notably one by Reinhold Hopper, but the first correct proof did not appear until 1953. The 12 neighbors of the central sphere correspond to the maximum bulk coordination number of an atom in a crystal lattice in which all atoms have the same size. A coordination number of 12 is found in a cubic close-packed or a hexagonal close-packed structure. In four dimensions, it was known for some time that the answer is either 24 or 25. It is easy to produce a packing of 24 spheres around a central sphere. As in the three-dimensional case, there is a lot of space left over, even more, in fact, than for n equals 3, so the situation was even less clear. In 2003, Oleg Musin proved the kissing number for n equals 4 to be 24, using a subtle trick. The kissing number in n dimensions is unknown for n greater than 4, except for n equals 8 and n equals 24. The results in these dimensions stem from the existence of highly symmetrical lattices, the E8 lattice and the Leech lattice. If arrangements are restricted to regular arrangements, in which the centers of the spheres all lie on points in a lattice, then this restricted kissing number is known for n equals 1 to 9 and n equals 24 dimensions. For 5, 6 and 7 dimensions the arrangement with the highest known kissing number is the optimal lattice arrangement. But the existence of a non-lattice arrangement with a higher kissing number has not been excluded. Some known bounds. The following table lists some known bounds on the kissing number in various dimensions. The dimensions in which the kissing number is known are listed in boldface. Generalization. The kissing number problem can be generalized to the problem of finding the maximum number of non-overlapping congruent copies of any convex body that touch a given copy of the body. 
There are different versions of the problem depending on whether the copies are only required to be congruent to the original body, translates of the original body, or translated by a lattice. For the regular tetrahedron, for example, it is known that both the lattice kissing number and the translative kissing number are equal to 18, whereas the congruent kissing number is at least 56. Mathematical statement. The kissing number problem can be stated as the existence of a solution to a set of inequalities. Let be a set of n-dimensional position vectors of the centers of the spheres. The condition that this set of spheres can lie round the center sphere without overlapping is. Thus the problem for each dimension is not conceptually hard but general methods of solving systems of inequalities are very inefficient which is why this problem has only been solved up to four dimensions. By adding additional variables, this can be converted to a single quartic equation in n, 2 plus dn variables. Therefore to solve the case in five dimensions would be equivalent to determining the existence of real solutions to a quartic polynomial in 1025 variables and for the 24-dimensional case the quartic would have 19,322,732,544 variables. An alternative statement in terms of distance geometry is given by the distances squared between an nth and mth sphere. This must be supplemented with the condition that the cayley menger determinant is zero for any set of points which forms and simplex in n dimensions. Since that volume must be zero, setting gives a set of simultaneous polynomial equations in just y which must be solved for real values only. The two methods, being entirely equivalent, have various different uses. For example in the second case one can randomly alter the values of the y by small amounts to try and minimize the polynomial in terms of the y. 